first began exploring doing another Overlord game here at Codemasters, we wanted to do something a little different. Of course, we've still got the story there, the story's a big part of it, but we wanted to make the actual the gameplay itself much more immediate, much more focused on, on combat, but very accessible too. So I worked on the first one, on Raising Hell, on Overlord 2, so I've sort of spanned the, the entire franchise. It's probably the game that I've been asked about the most. It's still very much in the world, very much in the spirit of the games, and through this, this kind of the four-player gameplay we've got, we've been able to explore another side of it. We wanted to try something a little bit different with the multiplayer and the co-op, and obviously that wasn't the main focus of the original games, which was very much about the, the single-player story. So, you know, we didn't want to call it Overlord 3, we wanted to try out a new format, and we kind of want to see where this one takes us, really. So this game takes place um, after Overlord 2, and basically Narl and the, um, the minions have been driven underground down to, down to a place we're calling the Nether Deep, which is kind of in the deepest, darkest recesses of the Netherworld. There's this um, strange kind of plague of goodness called the Golden that's infecting everything with sort of twee niceness and gnats encroaching on the nether deep so the sort of minions are they're, they're on their way to being wiped out as well and if the minions go there's no chance of an overlord. From here Narl has hatched this uh, this wonderful plan to resurrect the bodies of uh, four, four evil doers in their in their life. They're kind of his four sub-lieutenants. And whilst they're not overlords themselves because obviously there can only be one overlord they're actually kind of the next best thing and we're calling them the nether ghoul. While the essence of Overlord is in the game, Rihanna's great writing, the minions, having fun being evil, it's also not a straightforward Overlord game in the sense of certain mechanics fans of the previous games might expect. It's co-op at its core. You can still play the game single player. With the four characters we've got, they've all got their strengths, they've all got their weaknesses, and the minions will, will supplement that. The, the humor and the tone of the world was built into the gameplay, into the mechanics. Everything sort of reinforced the tone of the world, and that's why we, we got back voice actors like Mark Silk. And I could sort of slip back into writing the Overlord world quite, quite easily. I don't even know how many years it's been um, working on Overlord games. To be able to come back to it and do something, something new and something fresh with it is, is, is really great.